What is going on guys? My name is Mad Alive. Welcome to another video that you see on YouTube and stuff. So this is basically a proper guide on how to burn um, CDRs uh, to your PlayStation so you can play games properly with uh, less lag, less glitches, and less FMB lags and stuff. Now for a month and a half I've been trying to figure this out for a while and most of these guides um, I found on the internet don't actually work and I'm still getting some skipping issues and stuff and I found a couple problems and a couple fixes that could fix this problem okay now the first step I'm gonna link this in the description where you can buy these um, but the first fix is it depends on the CDRs you have um, some CDRs work terribly on your plate on your modded PlayStation 1 or soft mod PlayStation 1 or the disk swap method some some CDRs cause glitches lags and multiple problems but I found these CDRs that work the best and I'll link them in the description and it's by um Data Life Plus. These CDRs by Data Life Life Plus are really good. These ones are very cheap. The this is uh, the Canadian price, so it may be lower in American. If I change it to .com and see if they have it in American, uh, they do for 15 American dollars. Both links will be in the description. If you're American, I'll put the American link in the description. If you're Canadian, I'll put the Canadian link in the description. I don't know about the UK, so if if I find a link for that, I'll let you know. And people from uh, Europe can pretty much uh, buy it at the same time too. These CDs work the best. Um, the Data Life Plus works the best. I don't know why they do work the best, but I was looking all over the internet on the forums and stuff. And people told me to go for these since they are one of the cheapest available CDRs that you can get that work the best on your PlayStation 1. So you don't have to pay a high penny for them. So, okay. So, okay. After when you buy these, you need to burn a disc. Okay. So burning a disc is pretty much fine. I got some games that, uh, that I burn all my burn on my CDRs so I can put them on my PlayStation. Um, I recommend you testing out these CDRs with a game called Persona 2 because Persona 2 had a lot of problems with me with my other CDRs. Um, the other CDRs I have is Maxell and when I use Persona 2 the FMV and the inch and the um, logo for Atlas will lag like crazy. And I'll get audio legs and stuff like that. But with these CDRs, I didn't get any lag whatsoever. So I am going to basically show a preview at the end of the video on a different CDR I have versus the CDRs I do have. So so watch until the end of the video. I'm going to show you how these are test how these work. Okay, so. Pretty much you'll get uh, two files right here, the uh, bin file and the Q file. Okay, these files right here is the ones you need. Uh, don't worry about these files right here, they will never come in the folder. These, this is for the PlayStation emulator I was working with before I got these CDRs. So when you download a game uh, from a from an emulation website, um, I recommend MU Paradise. But I'm not going to put the link in the description. You have to look for it for yourself for legal reasons. So you should use this for backup purposes only. Now, you right click on the Q file and uh, you use Image Burn. Okay, if you don't have Image Burn, um, you can basically get it for free. Um, it's a free tool that I recommend you using. Um, th this will also be in a link in the description. Image Burn is one of the best burning softwares you can use. It runs on Windows XP, Vista 7, 8, and 10. Um, so you can use this. Um, so you just click on uh, download here. It takes you to the download page. 
and you click on Mir 7 since it downloads it from the official website and that's what you do so after that uh, you right click on this .q file I know it's one kilobyte but just hear me out the reason that there are two files the Q file tells the image burner to burn the bin file correctly so right click this and open with image burn okay so it's gonna open up image burn it takes a while and you get this right here now what will happen if you try to burn a bin file instead of a Q file it will give you a little error message saying that uh, they that you have to use the Q file so let's start it up it's loading it'll say you should have selected a Q file and not this one I'll do it for you automatically this time but don't do it again okay so it automatically uh, uses the Q file for for you so here's on my Q file now with these CDRs I don't know what the reason is or why people say this people say just just um, burn it at at the lowest speed as possible that is half true it all depends what kind of CDRs you have but the CDRs I gave you are recommended to be done on max speed the reason is I tried it as the lowest speed as possible and I was getting errors like crazy until I moved up to max speed I was getting no errors at all so it has to be um, it has to depend on which CDRs you have so these CDRs I recommend you having work on max speed they only work on max speed do not go as the lowest speed as possible always go to max okay so I'm gonna stop the stop this part of the video here and I'm gonna show you um, what Persona 4 looks like on my big screen television
And not again. <laughs> Does that sometimes, where it doesn't load the disc right. There we go. This is running on lowest speed and it's going to cause some more errors. There it is. Then it cuts it off. This is what happens when I burn it at the lowest speed instead of the max speed settings. So, uh. Okay, you get the point. 